Hey, what is up, guys? Trex here, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria Living Underground. Um, we're back in our little house that we have. Uh, we don't have too much stuff, and what I want to do in the next few episodes is fight the Eye of Cthulhu, because we do have a suspicious-looking eye right here, and we have most of the stuff we need to fight him. We just need to get some better armor before we can fight him, like, uh, some more tungsten armor and such. But this episode, I think I'm going to be making this thing a, this little room down here, a storage room, so that I can, just notice that there's silt over there, so that I can keep all these chests in one place instead of scattered about as they are at the moment. Um, so I'm going to be doing that in a time lapse. Let's also mine this silt up real quick so we can see what sort of, um, what sort of ores we can get, if we can get more tungsten to upgrade our armor. I'm also going to be getting, like, preparing a little arena or something to fight the Eye of Cthulhu, because that is going to be a necessity. So some, let's put the silt in here. Do we have more silt? I don't know. But we can see what we get out of this. Alright, looks like we've already got some tungsten, some iron, some silver, diamonds, gold. Yeah, we are getting some good things. Emeralds, um, there's some, some more tungsten platinum. Okay, we we're getting a bunch of good ore out of this. Is there any more tungsten anywhere? I don't know. So I'm going to start making this a storage room. And so I'm going to put on some music for you guys to enjoy. And so yeah, let's, uh, let's get working.
Alright guys, so our storage room has been created and sorted. Everything is in its respective place. We still have one chest uh, for whatever we might need to fill it. So, um, also obviously we got the die trader, which was helpful because that's another NPC. I just realized how slow this sword is. Yeah, if we could get another sword sometime, that'd be great. And this was a massive, massive mistake and I'm definitely going to die right now. Dang it. Ah, uh, well, there's the death counter for you. So, yeah, we, um... Sort of the storage. I'm gonna go down here and finish off these wall creepers with my red rider BB on with a uh, compass in the stock. Um, does it say that? Don't shoot your eye out. Should say it has a compass in the stock. That'd be, that'd be good. Um, come here, come here, make my day. Ah, there we go. And last one, two, last two. Anybody, anybody? There we go. And he's gone. Alright, so we got those guys cleared out and killed. Uh, there's still some people in the spider's nest, but um, what else do we have to do? Let's uh, let's take a look at our map real quick, because it's been a while. Uh, ooh, we have this room over here, which I believe is the arena for the Eye of Cthulhu that I was making. Do we have any other mushroom mushroom biomes? Because that, that would be useful. I know what we should do. We should find out... Ooh, there's a gold chest down there. Let's let's head over there. We should find out if this world is crimson or if it's um the the other one, corruption. We should find that out. I'm gonna mine this ruby up real quick as well. So there we go. Uh, that way we'll know if we have to fight the brain of Cthulhu or the eater of worlds. And that that's something that is kind of crucial because both sets of armor are very different in their set bonuses and such. Like the uh, crimson um uh crimptain armor gives you a regeneration bonus, I believe. And Night's Edge makes you fa or um Shadow Scale armor makes you faster. Uh per personally I like the look of the Shadow Scale armor better, but I think the um uh the effect of the Crimtane armor is better for the uh mid-game player, which is what we are. And that silt is falling. Let's have mine the silt up actually. So we can put some more stuff in the extractinator. Because really we're getting a ton of ores to the extractinator. And that's very helpful to have this early on. Um, so yeah, that's that's one thing. Oh, also upgraded our armor to uh, tungsten greaves. Wait, is that silver? Okay, good. Tungsten chainmail. So yeah, we have tungsten greaves now. I'm going to put a torch down here. Just ran one random torch. We can fall down here into the water. Like so. Oh, bad idea, bad idea. Let's actually grab that grab that column statue, because I didn't see one while I was putting this putting my stuff away. Okay. Reach out, there we go. Sweet, sweet. And grapple on. Okay, so uh, the arena is over here. We do need another to find another mushroom biome because we are using mushrooms as our primary wood substitute. I mean, wood it's they're not going to be able to completely replace wood, but oh wait, there is some mushroom seeds, uh, mushroom grass. Over. Oh, did I build this in a mushroom biome? Didn't I build? Oh, destroyed a mushroom biome for this. Yeah. But this looks like um, an area we can fight the Eye of Cthulhu in, so we'll probably do that next episode. Uh, we've got enough health by the looks of it, and um, I think we can. Uh, we we will have enough money. Oh, good. There's one right down here. That's very helpful. Oh, come on, kill him, kill him. So let's uh, harvest these mushrooms because we need them. We need all the mushrooms we can get because these mushrooms are very good. For our needs, at least. Jump this down. Still using a copper axe, um, but that really doesn't affect anything because because we do um, not need. We can't chop down trees because we aren't at the surface. Oh, there's lava. Hmm. I wonder how far away we are from the underworld. Where are we right now? We are past the middle of the map. So, yeah. Um, ooh, life crystals up there. We'll get that in a second after we grab these mushrooms. Um, because, as I said, we need these mushrooms very, very badly. As many as we can get. Come on, let's get that one. Get these. Uh, these up here. Ah, uh, saw that coming. Didn't dodge it in time. Come down here, get that. Ooh, get that mushroom as well. That wasn't a mushroom that we could have gotten. So that was useless. How many do we have at the moment? We have 26. Okay, not too many, but... 
that'll get us by. Uh, we got some silt here, which is good. That background looks different than the regular stone background or the mushroom biome, which is... I don't know what background that is, or, or for what biome that background is pointed to. Ooh, ooh, is this a gym cave? Oh, sweet, I've only found one other gym cave before entry, and that was in my personal world, but this is, this is very useful, because gym caves, they give, they give you two different types of gyms, and they give you a ton of them. They're very useful, so we can upgrade our hook to a ruby hook uh, after this, because I believe ruby hook is... I was looking at the hooks. Oh! Is this two gym? Oh my gosh, this is a massive gym cave. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screenshot this from thumbnail. Gosh, that is so many gyms. Look at that. Look at that. Um, there's my thumbnail button. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, we are, we are rich now. Great, great. Um, I changed the lighting. Oh, ooh. I've never seen that lighting option before. Oh, I like this one. What is this lighting? I'm gonna keep it because I like it. It's all atmospheric, ambient occlusion and such. I, what is this lighting? Let me check. Um, settings, video. Ooh, the lighting is trippy. Uh, white, retro, trippy, or color. I kind of like color lighting. I'm gonna keep it like that. Why have I been playing with white lighting this entire time when there's this color option? Oh, how did I not play with this before? That's awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's go back to trippy. Yes, I kind of like that. Ooh, but it does hurt my eyes. It's, it's very trippy. So we'll go back to uh, color lighting. Oh, that's awesome. Did not know that color lighting did that. I guess I just never saw it before. Anyways, uh, we are almost out of gyms here. We'll check our spoils in just a second. Um, mine at the Samethyst. Got it. Okay, mine at the Ruby. There we go. There's the Amethyst buried under there. Uh, got a few more. Oh, Ruby down there. Let's grab that. Okay, and these look like the final gems in the cave. Uh, so let's just grab them up real quick, and we have just about every mushroom. I saw a root for a second there, but it's gone. So, um, okay, so we've cleared this out of mushrooms and materials and gems. Now let's just go grab this golden chest real quick and that life crystal, because those are both very useful. Right. Oh, this look- oh, dang it, again, really? Alright, Red Rider, Red Rider, where are you? Come on, deal some- okay. Oh gosh. Get the sword, get the sword, get the sword, kill him! Okay, okay, we're not dead, let's heal up. Okay, that was- that was too close, I would've had to do another- another- Is my inventory full? No, that's just his carcass. I would've had to do another death counter, and you guys know how much I hate doing that. But, it's all for the kids, I guess. Don't really know. Never mind. Okay, okay that dark trap shall plague us no more! Ooh, yeah, more mushrooms, more mushrooms, that's good. I see an emerald right there. So let's grab that. Okay, life crystals are priority. I think we can get a magic mirror, because uh, I don't believe we have one. 200 health, there we go. Very, very productive episode so far. Storage room, more mushroom, uh, more underground mushroom biomes. Gold chest, life crystal, gold chest with a flare gun. Eh. Bunch of ore, upgraded armor, got the die trader. So yeah, very productive episode so far. I'm gonna steal this pressure plate so that it can't injure us. I got these. Um, yeah, so next episode, I bet we'll be ready to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Hopefully, and that's a very, very important step in getting to the Wall of Flesh because that's where you get... Oh, we won't have to explore to find out whether or not it's a crimson or um, corrupt world. We can just fight the Eye of Cthulhu in whichever ore he gives us. Demonite or Crimpton ore will tell us which one we are. Ah! 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 Run! Run and hide! Run and hide and scream! Run and hide and scream! Okay, no one panic! Okay, that bat's dead, so that's the biggest enemy, because it's flying. Ooh! Gold! Sweet, sweet. Okay. So I have this gold so we can get a better pickaxe, although I would prefer getting a platinum pickaxe. Um, but yeah, once we fight the Eye of we should be able to determine which world we have, Corrupt or Crimson, or, yeah, Corrupt or Crimson, so let's, uh, I think we should head back to our home after we get that gold ore that I just saw up there, 
Leap of Kingdoms. There we go, we made it. I'm getting better with this grappling hook, because normally I just have the slime hook slash ivy whip, and I'm used to having three, so I'm not that great with the grappling with the regular grappling grappling hook, but being better, being better. Um let's grab up there so that we can get up here. Alright, and let's head back to our house. Nope, that wasn't a mushroom. We are at the arena steel. How will we get up there? Don't know. Like this. There we go. Hardcore parkour. Ah, made it. Oh, such skill. And I have the uh, climbing claws or whatever they're called. Let's just go in there. Come on. There we go. Okay, made it. Made it. All right. Um, head back through this beautiful new lighting that we found. And... Let's just head back to the house, and we will end off the episode. So anyways, guys, we quite a productive episode. I've already recapped it. I won't recap it again. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video... Oh, wait, we're not back yet. If you like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. There will be a Trex Place up tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so this series, hope you guys are liking it. Uh, tell me if there's anything I should do to change it or make it better or anything, and I'll continue this series until we defeat the Wall of Flesh. So yeah, guys, this is quite a fun video to make, so I hope you all um, already said that. So thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time, and goodbye.